Hey there, Kooby peeps. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and if you're returning, welcome back. Hey, what's up? I have a piece of trivia for you guys. Did you know that the 4th, this past Saturday, is National Trivia Day? Did you know that there even was a National Trivia Day? I didn't either, but we have a national day for damn near everything at this point, so I guess it's not all that surprising. So in honor of this day, I wanted to scour the internet for pieces of obscure horror trivia. It did take a little bit of digging because most of the lists on the internet include a lot of the same facts that I feel like most of us know at this point. Stuff like Psycho having the first shot of a toilet flushing in American cinema, Michael Myers' mask is a William Shatner mask, and Stephen King didn't like The Shining movie. You know, ones that I think we all kind of knew already. So hopefully you haven't heard these ones before. In any case, they were new to me, so there's that. Number five on my list is basically just here to strengthen the argument that I think vampire movies need to take a break for a little bit. Dracula apparently holds the world record for being the most portrayed non-human character on film, appearing 272 times. 272. Think about that, that's just Dracula <laughs> making appearances on film. Just think about how many like other vampire movies there are that don't include Dracula. It's too damn much. I would like some more werewolf movies and some more witch movies, please. In case you were as curious as I was about this piece of trivia because it designates non-human, the most portrayed character on film that is a human is Sherlock Holmes with 254 appearances. Number four on this list probably isn't the most obscure horror movie fact ever, but it's the funniest in my opinion. Apparently, the creator of the iconic slasher Jason Voorhees, Victor Miller, almost named the masked killer Josh after his own son. I'm sorry to anyone named Josh. <laughs> no, I don't mean anything by this, but Josh has got to be like in the top 10 of least threatening names ever. I can just imagine Mrs. Voorhees like, Josh was my son and today is his birthday. <laughs> that just sounds like a sentence anyone would say. Technically so does saying Jason, but you know, like it's just, <laughs> obviously it feels extra weird at this point where we're so used to him being called Jason. Number three comes from my personal favorite Final Destination movie, Final Destination 3. And yes, I did intentionally put it in the third spot because of that. The movie starts, as most Final Destination movies start, with somebody having a premonition of death. This one involving a horrific roller coaster accident. To achieve this roller coaster premonition scene, the actors had to ride the, a roller coaster apparently 26 times in one night. I definitely don't get sick on roller coasters or carnival rides or anything like that, but that would absolutely make me sick. Number two on my list, I think was the most surprising <laughs> piece of trivia that I found. But I also, as I kept looking at lists and lists and lists and lists on the internet, this one was on pretty much all of them. So I guess it's not that obscure of a fact, but I, I, you know, maybe I was just the only person that didn't know about this. Apparently, Max Shrek, who plays Count Orlok in my favorite vampire movie, Nosferatu, is only seen blinking once on screen in the entire movie. Um, apparently it is somewhere near the end of the first act. I thought that was like, a you know, a crazy fact in and of itself, but <laughs> what really just baffles me is who notices that? I mean, I'm glad somebody did notice it so that we could all know this piece of trivia, but who? Who notices that sort of thing? I feel like the next movie I see, I'm just gonna unintentionally be like hyper aware of how many times the actors blink. <laughs> so my favorite piece of trivia that I discovered um, involves my all time favorite composer, the brilliant John Williams, who has composed many, and I mean many, an iconic and easily recognizable score for so many great films. Apparently when Williams presented his idea for the Jaws theme to Steven Spielberg, 
he replied something to the effect of that's funny John really but what did you really have in mind for the theme that's right he thought John Williams was joking apparently I also read somewhere that Spielberg had imagined a more swashbuckly type theme for Jaws like can you like let's just I'll take a moment close your eyes and imagine Jaws but with like a pirate score I think I speak for everybody here when I say I'm very glad that John Williams got to go with his original vision for the score which is iconic like most themes that the man creates but um I guess John Williams also credits his work on Jaws as like jumpstarting his career also so there's that there you go those were five pieces of horror trivia that I just learned about hopefully at least one of them you didn't know about and you know I did something I just liked sharing them anyway so let me know your favorite pieces of horror trivia in the comment section down below I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you're new here become a creepy peep today I post videos Monday Wednesday and Friday and you can ring that notification bell down there fun piece of trivia that notification bell does nothing thank you so much for watching and until next time stay strange bye this video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed here. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep yourself, you can check out that link in the description. There's a whole bunch of fun links in the description so you can follow me on all my social media, Goodreads, Letterboxd, all that good stuff. So make sure you check out the description box. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye.